Hey, it's Liam from Tinnitus Treatment and welcome to another video about tinnitus and stress. I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but first of all, for all the YouTube subscribes and all the emails and all the feedback and all the testimonials you guys have been giving me, it's been absolutely fantastic, okay? So I just want to say one thing real quick to all the people, uh, two different people, and this is more of a serious note. So for those of you who are emailing me and you're starting to get rid of tinnitus or you're halfway there or you're nearly there, please, 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 I, I get it. Like you're getting results and it's awesome and it's working. You can see it's working. You can understand the process. You just go getting it now. That's f amazing. It's cool, right? <laughs> like it's working, but please don't do more. Don't, don't add additional steps and don't like times it by 10 because you can hurt yourself. You can hurt your kidneys, you can hurt your liver and you can hurt your pancreas if you hit it too high. And it's, it seems like crazy, like, wow, I make you do something that could potentially be dangerous, but I'm not. I'm making you do something that is, is very healthy. It's what humans are supposed to do. It will work. And once again, thanks for the emails. Congratulations on getting rid of tinnitus, right? It's awesome. Okay, so those of you who've gotten rid of tinnitus, okay, who, who are emailing me as well, please, even more important, okay? I get this all the time. I get people that emailing me and say, Liam, I've got rid of tinnitus. It's fantastic. It's amazing. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, man. Two weeks later, Liam, it's come back. I'm like, fire out. Okay, so, and then I'm like, what happened? And it's like, well, uh, you said that I could resume my normal life after tinnitus. So, you know, I did. And then it came back and I said, you have to keep following the process for at least a month to six weeks after you get over it. Hardcore, just as, just as well as you're doing it then. It's not hard, remember? It, there's like a good enough factor where you don't have to do it full on, but at least do some of the steps for at least one, uh, four to six weeks, please. And then you can wean yourself off it. You can't just get rid of tonight. You can't just wake up and just start smashing beers and start doing whatever you want, just blasting music to 11. It's not going to happen that way. You got to fix yourself. And the, the reason your tinnitus is gone is because it's, it's an issue inside, but it's not that much of an issue. So your body's like, all right, we should stop warning them about it, but we're going to fix it on our own terms. Because it seems like they're doing the right. As long as we keep going this direction, we should be healed. So let's not bug him anymore because it probably will work itself out. But if you keep doing it, um, if you go back to the way you were going, it's going to go wham, like right back up to where it was. And you're going to go, whoa. So once again, for those of you who have got rid of it completely, please, please stop doing that. Okay, so I'm going to break down stress and tinnitus, tinnitus and stress. Okay, so break it down very simply. So when you get stressed out, good, it's recording. So when you get stressed out, your adrenal glands above your kidneys secrete what's called cortisol. Cortisol comes from the, it's a fight or flight mechanism. Our brains are running off the thousand year old, whatever is mechan 10,000 year old mechanism of when we see something scary, two things happen. Our heart rate goes up and we secrete cortisol. Our heart rate goes up to pump blood and oxygen to our extremities, our arms and our legs. The, the theory is that if you saw a tiger and it scared you, heart rate pumps up, cortisol pumps up. Cortisol is to make you super aware super aware of everything, super engaged, super everything, okay? And it's going to, well, that's it, basically, make you aware. And then your heart rate is going to pump blood to your extremities so you can climb away from danger or fight. And the same with your legs so you can run faster or, well, I, I guess, kick somebody in the face. I'm not a kung fu expert, but I can imagine that's, that's the idea. So what happens is after the danger is gone, your heart rate goes back to normal, it's fine. Your cortisol, however, stays in your system but it only stays in your system if you're not fasting. Here are the three core components of what your body's supposed to do. Your body is supposed to keep your autonomic nervous system working. That's behind the scenes. Your autonomic system is this, heart rate and breathing while you're asleep. Just focus on that, don't worry about anything else. Heart rate all, all the time and breathing while you're asleep. Now, the second thing it does is heal itself. And the third thing it does, third priority, so first priority is autonomic nervous system, heart rate and breathing while you're asleep. Second priority is um, healing itself, broken cells, you know, damage injuries, okay? Third issue, the third um, priority, sorry, is processing food and water. Now, priority two and three interchange. So if you are eating something, priority, okay, maybe not that finger, okay? Priority three, um, 
e- when you're eating something, you have two priorities here. Okay, so this is this is eating something, and this is um, healing yourself. When you eat something, your body's attention goes to processing that food because it goes, "Oh my God, here's some food. Let's put all our attention on this and process this food so we can use it to build ourselves up." Now, this is besides the fact. This is besides the fact that we eat shit all day long, bread, dairy. Um, smoke cigarettes, walk around in pollution, ba- drink water with fluoride in it, uh, conspiracy theory or not, it's a fact, look it up. All this different stuff, okay? And the fact that we're looking at pewter screens all day, we're just bombarded with toxins. Um, and I don't like saying toxins, but we're eating crap. But besides the point of that, we're e- anything, you eat anything, it doesn't matter, and on that note, it doesn't matter if you're eating healthy foods either. If you're eating raw vegetables or you're eating uh, good quality fruits or the cleanest water from like some mountain in the Himalayas, it doesn't matter. You're taking your body's attention away from its second priority, which is healing itself. So if you fast, your body heals itself. Then it goes, hey, all this cortisol from that thing last week with the lion that built up, the heart rate's gone down, but the cortisol's still there. Let's break it down and get rid of it. Does that make sense? That's the one thing that you need to understand if you want to get rid of tinnitus. Stress is a chemical reaction, and it's built on your reptilian brain, okay? See a scary thing, whether it's perceived or it's ingrained in your biology. Your heart rate goes up and so does your cortisol. Your adrenal glands secrete cortisol. Your heart rate goes down, your cortisol stays here. It ferments an acid pH. It messes with your autonomic nervous system. When your autonomic nervous system can't work, that's your heart rate and your breathing. Your body starts freaking out and your ears start ringing as a warning sign. It's saying, hey, by the way, your autonomic system isn't working very well. You don't know what to do. You start eating healthy food, see a doctor, they can't help you. If you start fasting, your body's second priority kicks in because you're not eating you're not distracting the body from what it's got to do it starts breaking down all that fermented acid ph which is from the cortisol gets rid of it flushes it out and then the tinnitus goes away it's fucking simple it's so fucking simple and every doctor has no fucking clue what the fuck they're doing how more obvious can it be and I'm frustrated because I fucking bought every scam under the sun. I spent thousands of dollars. I got, I got my nose drilled. I got everything done to me that it shouldn't have happened if doctors knew what the fuck they were doing. What the fuck they were doing. But they don't have a fucking clue about tinnitus or cortisol or cholesterol or testosterone or estrogen or anything like that. They have no clue whatsoever. Never forget... You can get rid of your tinnitus, noise trauma, stress, TMJ, however you got it, you can get rid of it. It's up to you. It's up to you. Go fucking fix it. Silence is yours. Go and get it. (laughs) 